All right, Brush Monkeys, we are back, and this week we are wrapping up our look at the Bombshell Miniatures Babes line with this little beauty right here. Her name's Carmella the Vampire. And uh, I think I'm going to be painting her in a combination of whites and pale grays and a little bit of silver for this brocade down the front of her here. And I'll do a little bit of yellow OSL for the candle as well. And of course, pale skin. I've got um, some Flesh Terrors red for her lips. I'm like the I'm doing instead of the uh, rose, brown rose. And I've got some green stuff, World True Blood, that I will apply after she's mat sealed. To give her that little drip of blood from her lips like you see on most vampires. But this should be good. It should be an interesting little paint job here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and uh, get started on that. So I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Alright Brush Monkeys, I kind of made a lot more progress on this girl than I meant to before doing another update. Um, I got her skin done, obviously. Got her uh, makeup done, her hair painted. Her clothes are all base coated in the various shades of gray that I was going to use. And I uh, painted this brocade pattern on the front of her silver and gave it a shade wash of thin down uh, normal. Uh, kind of the same mixture I used in her for her eyes. Probably give it another once over like that. There we go. Just darken that down a little bit. Now the uh, white on her there is going to be. I'm going to go over that with the um, apothecary white contrast paint, and then all of her uh, clothing will be given a dry brush of Proxetti white. So it'll kind of all be tied in together, but it'll still be different shades, and I think it'll look really good when it's done. Um, then her base, I'm going to do the same as the uh, bride base last week, if you recall. The um, Bricks are going to be basilicum gray, black base band, and then her candle here will be gold with a little yellow flame on the top. I got flash gets yellow for the flame, and then I'll dry brush a little bit of the um, Hexios Pale Sun over her arm and the front of her there just to give it a little bit of OSL. I think it's going to look really good when she's done. She's coming along pretty nicely. But yeah, I ended up doing a lot more than I'd actually meant to. But uh, I'm pretty happy with her so far. She looks pretty good. So I'm going to pause here and go apply the uh, Apothecary White. And then I'll take a break and come back and see how she looks. Alright, see you soon. Alright, Brush Monkeys, we have made some more progress on our girl here. Um, as you can see, I dry brushed the brocade. Kind of bring out that pattern on there. It looks really good. I also shade washed her dress um, and the bodice to uh, kind of darken it down a little bit. And uh, when I dry brush the uh, dress and the sash, it's going to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, I decided rather than dry brushing everything Praxetti White, I decided I was going to do her dress here. This is bottom part and sleeves in uh, Longbeard Gray. Which is kind of a very very pale gray you can see it's, it's almost white but not quite and then the sash that i based in white and painted apothecary white that will be dry brushed proxetti white so it'll still be very distinct colors of of white very pale gray and then a darker gray for the bodice and there i'm going to leave that the way it is i think that looks really good and i based her candle too so get around to painting that and the candle stick here in a bit but uh, yeah, once that uh, apothecary white dries, then I'll dry brush the dress and the sash. And then we'll come back and take a look at it. And uh, I may go ahead and paint the yellow on the candle flame too. But we'll see. So, I will see you soon. Bye. Alright, so I've got the dress dry brushed. I've got the sash dry brushed. I have dry brushed a little on the bodice just to make those... Uh, little details pop out 
and she looks really fantastic. I also painted the candle flame. There. And she is looking really good. I'm really, really happy with how this is coming out. So all I got left to do is the OSL uh, Hexos Pale Sun dry brush on her arm there and her basing. So I'm going to go ahead and do the dry brush and we'll come back and take one more look at her before I do the basing. And then I'll uh, base her up and next time you see her after that it will be done completely. So I will see you soon. She's looking really happy with how this is coming out. Bye. Alright, I am back for one last look before we finish this lady up. As you can see, I've done the OSL from the candle, and that looks really good on her. You can see it's all where the candle's going to land. I've also painted the candle stick, uh, based it with Balthazar Gold, pa painted it with um, <coughs> Vallejo Old Gold, and then highlighted it with a little bit of uh, Golden Griffin. Here, just dry brush the edges a little bit. Just to make them pop out a little more. And she is looking really, really fantastic. I really like how this gal is coming out. So I just have the basing to do now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, the next time you see this young lady, she is going to be uh, completely done. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be good. Really liking this one. See you soon. Bye. And there she is, Brush Monkeys. Carmilla the Vampire. From the Bombshell Miniatures Babes line. As you can see on the front, she's all done. As you can see on the front, I added a little bit of the uh, blood effects to her mouth and chin and chest. So I'm calling this girl done. She was a lot of fun to paint. And here are our finished Bombshell Babes that we have been painting over the last few weeks. I think they look really fantastic. I'm pretty happy with how they all came out. Get some better lighting on them there. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed painting along with me. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. Both of those help me with my YouTube numbers and help support me doing and what, what I do best. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you want to support me more directly, you can visit my Patreon site um, and go on my Instagram page to see uh, all the miniatures that I paint on this site and how to get your hands on one of your own if you want one. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. You can check both of those to see when new videos get posted. And visit my merch store at uh, storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.